officer comes to the rescue after a driver crashes out on the freeway and then is trapped inside his burning car. Let's go to Doug Kolk. He's live at LAX for us tonight where he talked to one of those Christmas heroes. Hello, Doug. And good evening, Rick. And this 26-year veteran of the LAPD bomb squad was on his way to work here in the LAX area. Luckily for the victim, he was scheduled to work Christmas. Oh, he would have burned. There's no could have. No could have to that. He, he would have died. When you talk about close calls for the 72-year-old man who was trapped inside this vehicle... It was just a matter of seconds. It probably doesn't get any closer. Another 10, 15 seconds. There just would have been too much fire for just about anybody to just go in and just deal with that. Luckily for him, veteran LAPD bomb squad officer Don Thompson was on his way to work when he saw the man's black Mercedes lose control and crash into the center divider at the 405 in Ventura Boulevard. So I reached in there and I fumbled a bit more and thank goodness I found that button and popped the belt and grabbed him and pulled him out. At the same time, an L.A. Fire Battalion chief was driving by and was able to make a direct call to the communication center, which saved valuable time. To be able to help to immediate patient assessment and get other resources on scene a lot quicker because he happens to be the commander of the dispatch center and called them directly to do so. The driver was taken to a local hospital, only complaining of neck and shoulder pain. Yeah, I got some here. I got some first degree on the arm. Thompson, in the meantime, suffered burns to his hand and forearm. I mean, some kind of singed, you know, hair here and some first degree on the side. To him, it's a small price to pay to save someone's life, especially on Christmas. It makes me feel good um, to know that I've saved a life. Two civilians also assisted in the rescue. Thompson, in the meantime, uh, was treated for those burns at a local urgent care facility and then released.